Hey YouTube! Now you might be wondering what we do with the pennies once we sort them and get them into the pop bottles. So we thought we'd just make a quick video on how we store the pennies. Now what we do is we just utilize the same boxes that they come in. Uh, we keep them separated by year and then just pour them into the box. Alright, we'll do the same thing for these years. Alright, so once we get the pennies into the box, we close them up and we make some labels. So we have the labels with each of the years that the pennies are in the box. Our first one is the 1953 to 1979 Canadian pennies. Then the last one is just the American pennies, the pre-1982s. Alright, so we like this method of using the boxes because not only does it give us uh, a reason to utilize them and not have to worry about throwing them out, but as you can see also too, it kind of gets rid of that misconception that once you get a lot of pennies, it's hard to store them and they take up a lot of room. So even if we had 50 boxes, we could just stack them like this and put them in a corner of the house and not have to worry about them. And also, too, this might just be a short-term way of uh, storing them for us, just because we might want to get something like the five-gallon buckets that a lot of people on YouTube seem to like. Uh, and also, even though we have them in a dry area now, the boxes will fall apart eventually, so we may have to look at something more permanent. All right, guys, so that's how we store them. We would appreciate it if everyone could like, comment, and subscribe. And also, too, tomorrow's Saturday, so that means that we're going to get our weekly pickup of two penny boxes and one box of nickels, so be sure to look out for those videos as well. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you soon.